see what this is saying if 3 plus 2 over x equals 1 the value of x is all right let's see what happens here one way you could you could work this out is just straightforward algebra we said 3 plus 2 over x equals 1 if you multiply both sides by x you're going to get 3x plus 2 the x will cancel equals 1 times x if you subtract 2 from both sides you have 3x is equal to x minus 2 and if you subtract x from both sides you're going to have 3x minus x equals 2 all right you follow that because remember you know let me do that part again when you multiply both sides by x doing it straightforward way we're going to look at it another way since it's multiple choice right even if you're not comfortable dealing with it the algebra method like i'm showing you here's another way you could do it but i'm going to do it after i'm finished with this if you multiply both sides by x you have 3 plus 2 over x equals 1 when you multiply by x this times x this times x this times x so here x will cancel x so you have 3x plus 2 equal 1 now if you plus x equals x plus 2 equals x on it if you subtract 2 from both sides you take 2 and from the left and take 2 away from the right and you're going to have 3x 2 minus 2 that's that equals x minus 2 see that and if you take x from both sides you take x from the left and take x from the right but x minus x this part is gone x minus x is 0 so I have 3x minus x equal um, negative 2 it would be negative 2 as a minus 2 right but then you would have 3x minus x which means the same as 3x minus 1x when you say x it means 1x because that will leave off the 1 right if it's 2x you have to write the 2 if it's 3x you have to write the 3 but if it's just x you will just leave off the 1 3x minus 1x is how much it is x, 2x I mean, if you have 3x is I take away 1x, you have 2x is left, equal negative 2. And you divide by negative, you, you divide by 2, because you want to get rid of the 2 from the x, and leave x alone. When you divide over here by 2, you get negative 1. Alright? It shows that the answer is a, but let's look at it um, another way. Let's assume you don't, you're not too comfortable with the algebra, right? And I showed all the steps there, but if you're comfortable with the algebra, you could do it very quickly, right? But if you're not comfortable with the algebra, you might say, all right. If 3, x, if 3 plus 2 over x equal 1, what is the value of x? The value of x is, okay, you have four possible values of x values of x you have negative one one fifth half and five one of them will work so you say all right let's try the five first if you say three plus two over five equals one now three plus two fifth two fifth is the same as what in decimal if you, if you do it that way two fifth is the same as point four so it's three point four 3.4 is not equal to 1. So here, you rule out D. It's not D. What about half? 2 over a half, same as 2 over 0.5. It's 3 plus 2 divided by a half is. In other words, how many halves are in 2's? Remember your fraction now. You have 2 whole things. How many halves do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4 half. So 2 over a half is 4 is equal to 1. Is 3 plus 4 equal to 1? 
No. So C is out of it. It's not C. So try again. Remember, it is X. And we need to put something there for X. This time, make X one fifth. So the two over one fifth. Two divided by one fifth is what? You can see how many one fifth are in two. Right? So if you divide this into five equal parts, there's not three really equal, but you get the idea. Now you have one, two, three, four, five. Good, five equal parts. Well, kind of equal. But you have an, you see what I'm talking about. How many one fifth are in two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. So it's three plus ten equals one. Or you could say 2 over 1 fifth is the same as 2 multiplied by 5 over 1 because when you have a number over a fraction, it's the same as the number times the reciprocal of the fraction. So 2, 5, 10. Is 3 plus 10 equal 1? No. That rules out B. Couldn't be B. So let's try again. Is X negative 1? <coughs> let's see. You put negative 1 here. 2 divided by negative 1 is what? Negative 2. So it's 3 plus negative 2 equal 1. 3 plus negative 2 is the same as 3 minus 2. Is 3 minus 2 the same as 1? Yeah. So you get the answer here. The answer is A.